Hi, Bob Allison here. I got to test the Regal DSA815TG spectrum analyzer and I got to review it. Now I get to show it to you and here it is. Well, here it is. It has a handle on the top, fairly lightweight, unlike some of the analog spectrum analyzers that weigh a ton. This has a little prop up feet for easy viewing. Here's your tracking generator output, your signal input. Remember, you got to keep this low. You can't plug a regular transceiver into here and expect to see pictures. You'll just see a lot of smoke. The maximum input you want to put in here is about a milliwatt, for safety's sake. Uh, plus dBm, uh, 20 dBm is the maximum here, but stick to a milliwatt, which is zero dBm. You'll be safe that way. Make sure you use the proper uh, power attenuators and step attenuators along with this. Here's your typical buttons that you see on a spectrum analyzer. We have a USB port here, so you can get data off the screen. Uh, demodulator output, audio output, there's your power button, a print button, a help button, which is helpful, and a preset if you have a setup that's already preset. Let's whip it around here, and on the back we have 10 megahertz in and out, a trigger input, a LAN connection, gosh, you can watch this uh, spectrum analyzer remotely, and another USB port back here. It's vented on the sides with very, very quiet fans, and there's the power, AC power input. Now it's time to make a measurement. I'm going to sweep spectrum from 0 to 1 gigahertz, and I'm going to look at the output of a handy talkie. Who will tell you which one. The uh, stop frequency is a gigahertz, start, 0. And uh, we're looking at a resolution bandwidth of about 10 kilohertz. Sweep time is 10 seconds. Let's key it and do a single sweep. Here we go. Oh, there's the fundamental. Oh, and there's a very bad second harmonic. Oh, dear, that's trouble. Spectrum analyzers are particularly useful in sweeping filters. We're going to sweep a bandpass filter now using the tracking generator. Let's do a single sweep. Here we go. Resolution bandwidth is about 10 kilohertz. Here we go. And how about that? That's pretty cool. And right there is your bandpass. So we can use our marker to see the 3 dB down points, and that would be the bandwidth filter right there. Looks like it covers the whole 7 megahertz band. This spectrum analyzer uses DSP technology, which explains its small size and lightweight. Great to use in the field, great to have on a bench top, a very practical instrument for an incredibly low price. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM ARL test engineer here at the ARL laboratory.